Fulton County Commissioners recently awarded a local addiction treatment center $360,000 to provide therapy for DUI court defendants. Yeah, but our Fox 5 I team found a key player in the Fulton County DUI court who also worked for the winning bidder. Our senior Fox 5 I team reporter Dale Russell is here and you looked at the bid paperwork as well. Constance, we just went through the entire file and when we got a tip about a possible conflict of interest, we then began investing the Fulton County, D investigating the Fulton County DUI Court Coordinator, Bradley Jones. Now he's experienced and well respected, but we wanted to know exactly where he worked. On that motion, that motion passes. With little fanfare and no real discussion, Fulton County Commissioners voted to approve a $363,000 contract. Just look right here at my finger, okay? Not just any contract. This one would provide substance abuse treatment for people going through DUI court. Let go of your hand, okay? Fulton County's highly successful DUI court, run by Judge Susan Edline, was designed to provide treatment for DUI offenders after they are convicted and keep our streets safe. The company that won the bid to provide that treatment throughout all of Fulton County was Road to Recovery. All good? Not so fast. Yes, looking back, there probably could have been some things that could have been done differently. You can say that again. Within one month, Fulton County Commission Chairman John Eve says the commission killed the contract and started all over. Why? We earlier traveled to Callaway Gardens for a DUI conference to find out. We wanted to talk with Fulton County DUI Court Coordinator Bradley Jones. I'm not commenting because the, the bid is going back out, so I mean, I'm, I'm hands off, I'm not touching anything with that. Why is Bradley Jones hands off? Because after the county awarded the contract to Road to Recovery, someone complained that Bradley Jones, who works for the county at the DUI Court as coordinator, also works for Road to Recovery. We got a similar complaint as well and didn't take us long to find him. That's him right there on the Road to Recovery website touting their programs. My name is Bradley Jones and I completed my clinical internship here at the Road to Recovery. And I Jones told us he had never been a Road to Recovery employee. He was only a contractor. Does Judge Edeline know this? Correct. She knows you work for Road to Recovery? I don't work for Road to Recovery. I'm a private practice and contractor. Maybe so, but he was also listed as their clinical director on their web page, twice. In fact, when he applied for a job at the county, he stated he was Road to Recovery's clinical director. You're listed on their website as a clinical director. I don't have any control over their website. Really? Judge Edline didn't want to talk to us on camera. She knew Bradley Jones worked for Road to Recovery. She says it was limited, after hours work. She didn't think it was a conflict of interest because he was not an owner or officer of the Road to Recovery program and he didn't evaluate the bids. And she's right, Bradley Jones didn't evaluate the bids, but he was involved in the process. At the first bid conference, there he is signing in, representing the county and according to bidders, answering questions. I was not involved in the bid process. I heard you were in the bid room when everybody came in. You answered questions on behalf of the county. No, what I, what I commented on was the treatment program, but I was not an evaluator on the contract. But look at this performance evaluation of Road to Recovery's earlier work in North Fulton. The glowing evaluation with near-perfect scores was signed by Bradley Jones. How is it What's nobody... The conflict if I'm not, I'm not evaluating the, the bid? Well, after someone tipped off the county, commissioners and staff and Judge Edline decided it could appear to be a conflict. So they threw out the bids and started all over. Because of the appearance of um, potential conflict, uh, we felt that it was um, best to rescind the contract so that in the spirit of transparency, um, the public all participants in the bidding process feel that it's fair. Now Judge Edline told me that Bradley Jones no longer works for Road to Recovery. He will not be a part of the new bid. His name and video have been removed from Road to Recovery's website.